All right. Good morning, Ed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I apologize I cannot be here on uh, this amazing Thursday with you guys, but uh, wanted to kind of give you a jump start into what we're doing today. Um, hopefully this video kind of works. I'm sitting here in my nice little office. I might actually move here in a second to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of my crib here. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of talk about what we're going to talk about or what we're going to do today and what I'm going to expect of you guys uh, going forward for the remainder of today. Went ahead and trimmed up the beard. Can't go to the doctor's office looking all scraggly anymore. So, um, but yeah, um, so happy Thursday to you guys. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, have already checked in and already completed that attendance check. And then uh, you guys are kind of watching this video. But uh, I'm going to kind of get you started with what you're going to do today. Um, and kind of talk to you about a few things uh, before we do. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, um, there are a lot of people that are missing assignments, okay? Today, I'm going to say, while it looks like it's going to be heavy, most of this stuff should be stuff that you've already started. Um, get it finished for me today. Um, that way we can uh, really uh, be ready to go uh, for the remainder of e-learning. Um, I don't want you guys to have to be missing any assignments. Make sure that uh, you are not one of those people that are missing assignments there for me, okay? So um, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's kind of get started and talk about what we are going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Hopefully you uh, you either still see me or you at least see my screen. So um, you can see that this is my WebEx. I actually jumped in um, on this. Uh, I have a recurring WebEx every day, so you guys won't have this WebEx, but I will have this WebEx. So. Uh, looking back at Wednesday for today, or at Thursday, sorry, Thursday for the day, um, I did delete a few things so that you guys weren't confused. I don't want people trying to jump onto a video today, or a, uh, a meeting, I should say, when there's going to be a video that is posted. So, happy Thursday. Sorry I'm not there today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, though. I'm actually going to put in a video link for the day in multiple places, because you would think that people would not... Uh, would know exactly where to go, but uh, yeah, um, some some probably still wouldn't. Um, sorry about that loud thundering boom. That's my tubby, tubby, tubby kitty. Um, so anyway, um, there's going to be a video link there after I post this video. Um, that way you guys are able to see the things that you have to do. But today you will have an attendance check that you have to do for me. Um, last year you might have had to do this as well, but there will be an attendance check. And I'm going to just kind of go over what that is for you. Um, quite literally, you're going to tell me your best joke. Okay. I want, I want to laugh today. Um, tell me your best joke. That is going to be how you are counted for attendance for me today. Okay. Tell me your best joke. We're good to go. All right. Looking back over here, you do have a Thursday Latin roots. Okay. I went ahead and scanned it in, but it looks like it's long. It's a lot of matching. Okay. It is not a, uh, a daunting thing here. In fact, here is the actual one as well. Um, when I scan it using my iPhone, which by the way, there's an awesome scan feature um, on iPhones and iPads underneath notes. You guys could probably figure that out better than I, better, or quicker than it took me to figure out. So, um, but anyway, there are 20, uh, 20 things that are there. Um, yeah. So kind of uh, Get those in for me. And there's actually 24, but 20 of them are matching, and then you got to write four sentences. Shouldn't take you too long. After that, there's an argumentative essay, second reason paragraph. We're going to talk about that today before I head out of here. Um, quite literally, if you wrote your first reason paragraph, the second reason paragraph is pretty easy. And in fact, looking at uh, Canvas really quickly, my to-do list, I already have... Uh, 8 people that have submitted it. So for those 8 people, you don't have to do that today unless you'd like to. So I love this uh having the ability to quickly go through and grade things. Um so clear that notification off there really quickly. And then afterwards, ladies and gentlemen, there's an academic vocabulary assignment. A good chunk of people have already finished that as well. And then last but not least, there is going to be a verb tenses practice. I got to make this all look nice and uh <laughs> Uniform. I, I I hate not being uniform um, as we go. So do today. Yeah, there's four things due. Realistically, two of them should already be done. One of them, if you guys have noticed, has been on there all week. So you guys could probably, I mean, honestly, get a lot of this finished pretty quickly. 
But for those people that do not have assignments turned in or are missing assignments, get them turned in today, please. Get some work done. You guys don't have to stay here for an hour-long meeting with me. You guys are able to to jump off uh, after you watch this video, and you guys are able to just get some work done. Get some stinking work done, guys. There's no excuses for it anymore, okay? What I'm going to say is this. Tomorrow after, after uh, my meeting and after my help session, anybody that has not turned in a single thing this week, I don't care if it's at the end of the day tomorrow. You've had three days now um, since Monday to get things done. Anybody that has nothing done, after I'm missing today, I'm calling your parents. I'm not even parent squaring them. I've already sent, I've already made three phone calls this week to families about kids that are not doing work. Um, and I hate to do that, guys. But get your work done. There's no excuses. It's not a vacation, okay? All right? I, I'm being dead serious right now. I know that I joke a lot and have fun. Get your work done, okay? The work that we're doing is the same work that we'd be doing in the classroom. It's not challenging. Try it. I don't care if you fail it. Get it done. But you do not put random letters in there and expect that it is done because I will contact your family and they will know about it. Okay? Get your work finished, please. All right? Schedule today looks a lot different. You need to log in, check for the assignments. You've already done that. There's no morning meeting today. Again, there's going to be another video link because, like I said, you would think that people wouldn't know. This video shouldn't take 30 minutes, but uh, I'm just kind of giving myself that time to get that in there. Um, so between 9 and 9.30, watch this video. Um, again, it'll be posted right there as soon as I upload it to YouTube. Um, independent work time. I'm going to be Related Arts, uh, Block 1, STEAM. Make sure that you log into Ms. Persani's modules. And Block 2, Physical Education, Mr. Ms. Persani, as well as Mr. Sullivan have been working hard in these modules. Make sure you get there. 11 to... 11.30 to 12.30, check out your relaxation time. 12.30 to 2, go to Mr. Harrigan's class, block one. Do not sit there and say, I thought it was at one. You guys keep using that excuse. You know better. You know better. Plain and simple, you know better. Okay? 1 to 1.30, no afternoon meeting today again. Uh, that's from my block two. Watch this video, guys. Okay? Independent work time from 1.30 to 3, and then from 3 to 3.30, finish up any work for the day. To be honest with you, unless you're finished with your work, you should not be done on at, until 3.30. There's so many people that uh, when I was talking to families yesterday, they're like, well, they must be getting on their Xbox. To be honest with you, if that was me as a kid, my parents would have taken that away. Okay, Get your work done. If I find that you're not getting your work done, I will contact your parents. You know, Whatever they take away is whatever they take away. Okay. Um, talking about these really quickly, I just want to go over briefly before I jump into argumentative essays. Academic vocabulary, guys, this is a, so easy a caveman can do it, okay? It's one of those things that uh, should already be done, just to be honest with you. Um, I even sent you in the discussion board all these definitions for this week. Um, <laughs> I, there's just It's just amazing that, uh, that people are still not getting work done when we have... All these different things that are here. Okay? I mean, look at this. Yeah, it says a long walk to water vocabulary, but it's literally all of the vocabulary words for the week. It is literally the slideshow that I gave you guys. So for example, the academic vocabulary. Look at this right there. It tells you the definition. Oh, my goodness. I, I just... I'm baffled by by the fact that some people are not finishing it. All right. So quickly jumping in because I don't want this video to be too long, and I want to give you guys plenty of time to work right now. We are uh, just checking on this, the recording function of this. Right now we're nine minutes into this video. Um, if I can get this done in six minutes, which I probably won't happen, but if I can get this done, you only have to watch a 15-minute video. Um, thank you for bearing with me. Um like I said, I know I would. I know you guys would rather me, uh, rather actually be in a meeting with me and all that. I mean, why wouldn't you? Because I'm pretty awesome. Um, I'm not full of myself at all, by the way. But I am. Um, sorry, I'm just. I'm in a weird mood. I'm. I'm waking up and getting ready to go first to the dentist and then second to the doctor to get my blood drawn. I don't like needles, and I'm freaking out, and I don't want to go, but I have to. All right. Argumentative essay, ladies and gentlemen, quickly. I know I talked about this with you guys yesterday, but I want to bring up a few things. Number one, uh, this this comes after you've written your introduction, your first reason paragraph. If you're a person that hasn't finished those things for me, 
There's no reason for you guys to even be on here trying to do this. Come on. Come on. Let's go back and do those other ones first. But for those of you that are not, or those of you that are finished with this, I gave you a video. Okay, I'm not going to play this video. In fact, I'm going to turn off that volume uh, so that you guys aren't uh, kind of daunted by it. But there's a video. I know it's taking forever. My internet's kind of being on the... Um, but there's a video going through what I did last year. Um, so you guys can kind of see that. I mean, I've done this for several years uh, with kids in different grade levels. But there's a video... Uh, showing you guys how to uh, how to write those things. Uh, if you don't find this one as uh, engaging or as uh, easy um, to do. So watch that YouTube video. There's also these notes that we've taken down here, um, but I'm going to go over them really quickly again with you guys, even though I did this yesterday, but that way people can actually get it done and feel successful. So this comes after writing my introduction, my first reason paragraph. I'm not going to go into those two things. Uh, if you actually go to my YouTube channel, and if you go to my resources, I, I might post a few more, but there's videos. So quite literally, if you go over here and you go into YouTube, you click on this nice little thing. Man, I can't believe I have 34 subscribers. Woohoo. By the way, there may be uh, hidden YouTube channels and hidden YouTube videos with me in there, but uh, you guys will never know. But if you go all the way into here, there's a thing right here for writing introduction paragraphs at the very bottom. It's like my fourth video in. These ones over here are just about collecting research, by the way, but you're more than welcome. This was before I knew how to title a video. Don't judge me. Um, like I said, I'm new to all this. Um, but anyway, you can see these things, and then you can actually jump in and see the writing reasons paragraph, writing counterclaim paragraphs. If When we get to this point, I will probably post this video. If you're bored, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a person that's just like, I, I don't know what to do with all this. Eh. Look at this. I started a uh, a story right here. Um, this is from last year, so I did read Took last year, but I'm going to uh, – I'll, I'll start uh, rereading that for, uh, for your guys' group. But Deep and Dark and Dangerous is written by that same author of Took and Close for the Season. So I have quite literally all the different chapters of it. Um, I finished it. Pay no mind to that. That's uh, last year, Mr. Gammons. Last year, Mr. Gammons. There's the introduction I gave you this year. Holy cow, that long hair was horrible. Um, but anyway, those are my videos. And then this video will actually be posted right in here, but I will give you guys the link anyway so you don't have to go hunting for that. So anyway, I'm not going to go through writing introduction paragraphs or first reason paragraphs. Um, you guys, have, we've already done that. But I am going to talk about second reason paragraphs really quickly and kind of what I had to do and what you guys are going to be expected to do today. Sorry if my uh, if there's a big old halo here or anything else. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and move around. That way you guys can see a little bit more of the uh, house anyway, but that overhead light's kind of bothering me. All right. Woo! Chili in my house. All right. We'll go to my game room. Oh, no, that's going to be too echoey. Anyway, there's the game room. But too echoey in here. I can't go in here. All right. Okay. We'll go into the living room, see if that, or the kitchen, see if that brightness is any better for me. Maybe too bright. Let me turn off, turn on this light. All right. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Still a little bit of a glare, but that's okay. All right. So anyway, um, today we're going to talk about writing second reason paragraphs, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about how I actually accomplished that and what the expectation is going to be for you. Kim, Le or Kim ate all my cookies. Depressing. You guys bragging about your Halloween candy. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, this comes after writing your introduction, your first reason paragraphs, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what you're going to do is you're actually going to jump into your second reason now. Now, where do you find your second reason? Well, when we took these notes right here, you uh, you ended up uh, finding those set or uh, writing in what your first reason was and your second reason. 
Your first reason paragraph was all about that first reason. Your second reason paragraph, guess what? It's going to be all about that second reason. So uh, what my second reason was, was that zoos take animals away from their family in the wild. Should be families, but I'm not getting into semantics about that right now. It's, it's quite literally, it's, it'll be okay if I don't uh, write that correctly. So anyway, second reason paragraph here. All right, I focus my energy just on this particular reason. Zoos take animals away from their family in the wild. So everything that's here should support the fact that zoos take animals or zoos take animals away from their families in the wild. Okay? So the second reason why zoos should not exist is that animals are ripped from their families in the wild. Boom, I hit that second reason right here. Okay? I'll zoom in a little bit so that it's a little bit easier. Boom, I hit that second reason. Okay? While captive breeding exists, many zoos will still send people to the other parts of the world to take animals. Okay. Now, what I told you guys yesterday was that I had to actually go back in and research this because as I was looking at my T-chart, I didn't have a lot of details that would support this particular statement, but I wanted to use it. So I had to go back in and I had to do my research. Okay. In 2003, more than 146 peng penguins were taken from Antarctica just to go to zoos in the UK. Again, I am supporting that fully. Not only that, but more than 70% of all elephants in UK zoos were taken from the wild and not bred in ca captivity. Okay, That comes from my research there. If you wouldn't like being ripped apart from your family, imagine how animals in zoos felt. That, or zoos must feel. That didn't come from that research. That came from my head. And then zoos steal animals from their homes, and that is yet another reason why zoos need to go. So ladies and gentlemen, that right there, all of those things kind of supported that same statement that, uh, that zoos take animals away from their families. So what you will have to do in your second reason paragraph, you have to support your second reason, which again, should be found up here. Okay. Tomorrow during my help sessions after this, if you need help, which nobody came to my help session yesterday to ask for help about their second reason paragraphs. So I'm just going to assume either you guys just know what you're doing or you don't want to actually ask for help. Okay. If you're not doing it correctly, if you're not sitting, submitting assignments, I'm going to tell parents, that you're not coming to my help sessions, you're not coming to my meetings, you're not asking me for help, and you're not turning in your assignments, okay? It's going to be on you at that point. So watch this video up here. Um, I'm trying to keep this short so that you guys don't have a big old long video to watch because you guys are children and you don't and you can't hold your attention very well. Um, so anyway, um, that's kind of going to be it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I want you guys to make sure that... Uh, that you guys are getting your work done today. Um, I want you guys to make sure that you're able to, to finish that work. If you have questions today, you can send me a message on Canvas. I cannot promise that I will get back to you today. Okay, I have two doctor's appointments. I have to drive several times. I don't text and drive, um, and I don't answer questions on Canvas while driving either. So just wanted to let you guys know that you can try. Um, if I'm available, I'll answer those questions, but if not, I will be here for tomorrow. Get your work done. Just because I'm out today does not mean that you stop working, okay? Who's going to be responsible? Who's going to step up? Who's going to do the right thing, all right? I love you guys so much, okay? I can't wait to see you back here tomorrow. Make sure that uh, you finish your work today. Have those questions. Either watch the videos or ask me tomorrow in person or send me a message on Canvas, okay? If you have technology issues, I'm going to highly recommend sending a message to Mr. Harrigan or Mrs. Baldwin, okay? Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day. I love y'all. I miss you. Um, Gammons is going to be, or Gammons out. I don't know why I just said that, um, but have a great day. We'll see you soon.